Free money, half off supplies, and triple money still. This week's GT Online event is, it's not terrible. It's not the best, obviously, but uh, it, it isn't terrible. And in today's video, that's what we're gonna be taking a look at, of course, because today is Thursday, we got a new event week, and uh, honestly, it may not be the best for making money, but it is something you might wanna hop on, get your, your free money, at least, and then maybe fill up some of your bunkers because there's something percent off supplies and uh, you can save that for whenever they do double bunker sales again. But in addition to all of that, and we'll touch more on this towards the end of this video, but it still does look like maybe sometime in June, we might get a little update, a little DLC in GTA online. Rockstar still haven't updated the podium list. So, We'll be taking a look at that as well. So anyway, let's go ahead and read through the newswire like we always do. So bonuses on mobile operation missions, bunker research and motor wars. So the main money making part this week is double money and RP on mobile operations missions. So you launch these by going into your MOC and then you can launch these mobile operation missions from there. And uh, they were paying double money. It's not the best money, but I mean, they're really easy to do. So if you just want to make some extra cash very quickly, then boom, there you go. As for the free money, well, if you complete just one of these missions by May 12th, well, you'll get $100,000 for free. Now, it is interesting they say limit one bonus per user. I do wonder if you could cheese this by having two characters with two MOCs. If you did one mission on one character, you of course get the 100K. And then maybe if you do it on the other character, you'll also get the 100K. And because your characters share your, your same bank account, well, then that's basically a free 200K, if that works. So it may be something you wanna try if you have a second character with an MOC, but uh, that's the free money this week. <laughs> They're getting a little stingy on the free money. 100K, I mean, it's nice, don't get me wrong, but you know, not doesn't go that far in GTA Online. Now, what's actually kind of cool this week, there's actual triple research speeds at your bunker. Now, if you've been playing the game for a while, you probably already have all of the bunker stuff researched, but if you're a newer player, this is an immense help. I believe getting some of the attachments for the Mark II weapons are in the research. Also, I think the missiles for the Oppressor Mark II is in the research, and if you triple the speeds, of them, you're gonna get all of the things you want unlocked way, way quicker. So that is probably one of the best things this week if you are a newer player. And then to top it all off, you have 50% off bunker supplies. So this actually might make this very good to stock up. You might not wanna sell your, your bunker just because it's just regular old rates. It's not double money on the bunker anymore. But if you did sell it last week and you have a completely empty bunker, Definitely take advantage of this. 50% off the supplies makes your life so much easier. And then of course you end up making more when you go ahead and sell it because you never put as much in. So that is very, very good as well. And then we get to the discounts. So the discounts this week, it looks like we have 40% off the Karen Technical Custom. Terrible vehicle, don't buy it. The uh, Hauler Custom, this is actually really good. Although, I personally find the stock MOC cab to be a little bit more fun because you can remove the, the giant cab off the back and then just use it as an actual truck. And people think it's just an actual truck you maybe have stolen, but it's like invincible. It takes 68 or 69 bullets or explosives to actually blow it up. So you control people with it. And there's not a window in the back, so you can just back into people. And uh, you can't really do that with this one because they sort of know what to expect but with the, the stock one. Uh, you can, and there's not a huge difference between the stock and this one. So I'd probably just keep it stock if I were you, although that one's not bad. I guess, well, look at this. The stock one is 40% off as well. So definitely keep this one. This shockingly is very fast as well. So uh, it's just another benefit of the MOC. You can buy this. I actually had no idea you could buy this. Okay. Apparently the 40, the stockade is 40% off. So if you want to troll some people, I don't know, I guess by going off the radar and pretending you're a stockade truck driver, I guess you can do that. The weaponized Tampa 40% off, it's not a terrible vehicle, but it's definitely not anything special. 
Now this one, if you don't own a Night Shark, you need to own a Night Shark. It's probably one of the best vehicles in the game for dealing with Oppressor Mark II Griefers. So definitely grab this at 40% off. That is an absolute steal. And then uh, we still have the double one or the triple money on Motor Wars. They said this is going to last the entire month. So you can definitely get that. The free stuff this week, we get this Invade and Persuade t-shirt. So you just log in, get that. The free, another free item is actually this little livery for the Night Shark. So it looks kind of goofy. But if you are rank 100 plus, you will get that. And then the podium vehicle is, uh, it's unfortunately the Winky. Now, I will say as far as the new, the Kyle Perico DLC vehicles go, this is probably one of the better ones. It's got some of the best customization in that DLC, but it is kind of a useless vehicle. So you can get it for free, but uh, if you do want to end up customizing it, that of course is going to cost money. So it's a little unfortunate that that's the vehicle on the podium this week. And then to top it all off, if you're a Prime member, of course, you get that free 200K by just playing each week. And then you get 70% off the JB700W, which is not a good vehicle. And then 70% off the Boxville, the armored Boxville, which actually isn't armored and doesn't have bulletproof tires. So not really that good either. And then you get 35% off the weaponized knee. Pretty bad as well. So uh, I guess as far as this guys go, nothing special. But yeah, it's kind of a down week, I guess. Maybe that's why we're hoping... I guess that we'll get some information soon from Rockstar regarding the next DLC or even the expanded and enhanced edition because these event weeks aren't like major. The only other thing I wanted to mention was this post. The, these are the podium vehicles left on the list from the game files. So there's only five left. So following this, I believe the 10th of June will actually be the last week for these vehicles to come out which would mean Rockstar would have to release a new update with some new vehicles to put on the podium. So I guess that uh, the middle of June is still when we should be looking out for, for something regarding the next DLC or the next update, or just something regarding GT Online specifically, I guess. But uh, like I say, I'll let you guys know if we find out any more. But that is it with the video. So thank you guys for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more GTA content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.